guys, it's Monday. It has been a rough weekend because Aiden's been sick. So it wasn't the, um, the milk that made him ill on Friday, I guess. He's got some kind of a virus. He, on Saturday, he had a fever of like 102. Uh, yesterday he still had a fever, but I finally got it to break. He was just laying on the couch all day, which is not like him at all. And then like, it is 10 o'clock right now in the morning and he just got up and that's not like him at all because he usually gets up at seven no matter what day it is. Uh, and then he didn't want to do anything. He's laying on the couch again. Um, I just took his temperature and it's a hundred. So he's got a fever again. I am not not looking forward to this. I always catch everything that he gets, so I am praying that I do not get this. I have like eye crusties, sorry. <sighs> praying that like Steven and I don't get this. He's mainly just been telling me that his throat hurts and like he hasn't wanted to eat, so that's understandable because when my throat is killing me, I never want to eat anything. <sighs> I like, I looked at his throat and everything and it doesn't, it's not even red, so I'm not sure what's going on. If he's still like this tomorrow, I'm going to take him to the, the minute clinic like we always go to, just because if he needs a friggin' antibiotic, that'll be the quickest way. I don't want to go to his doctor's office because they always, whenever you try to get an emergency appointment, they're either like, oh, she can't see you today, can you come tomorrow or the next day, and like, I don't want him to miss a ton more school. I also don't want to be in a doctor's office full of sick people because I catch everything. <laughs> and I just had a cold. I just got over a cold. But I, like he does not have what I had because I didn't have a sore throat like at all. I just had the scratchiness and then it turned into a sinus thing. So he had to have caught it when he went back to school for that one day and then it just got him good. So he's on the couch watching TV now. I gotta give him some medicine, but he, he only likes the grape for some reason, and all I have is the berry, and he was fighting me last night trying to take it, but he finally took it, and I can't leave, obviously, to go get him more medicine. Steven is supposed to be coming home early today because they're completely dead at work, so I'm making him get, uh, we need bread, <laughs> we need milk, and we need some more medicine for him just sucks like I knew he, he was doing so good with not getting sick at school this year because I know last year like all through October and November he kept bringing home colds and then he had that weird uh, like chest infection that wouldn't go away but this year he was pretty good he had like he had two colds who's calling me now all these weird freaking numbers he had two little baby colds this year and that was it Um, actually, he, I caught my cold from him because he had a little tiny cold, and then that's what, where I got it from, but, uh, it's just annoying. So today's boring, can't go anywhere, can't do anything, Aiden's on the couch, um, I'm hoping he starts feeling better because it's really not like him to friggin' not feel good for three days straight, like, Friday after he was sick in the morning with when he had the stomach ache, he was fine all day afterwards. Saturday, he was pretty good all day until the, like af around dinner time. He started feeling crappy. And then yesterday, all day, <laughs> I was like paranoid and checking his temperature every five minutes. It never got over 102, but the, uh, the ibuprofen that I gave him finally broke the fever. And then... He, he didn't have a fever when we put him to bed last night. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, he's not awake yet, so he must either be getting a good sleep or whatever. And then I came up here and he was awake. He was just in bed and didn't get up yet, which is totally not like him because you can usually hear him thump, like jump out of his bed and run down the hall in the morning, and he did not do that, so... I don't know what's going on. I just want the fever to stop coming back. Like it totally went away last night and now he has it again. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to go take its temperature again to check, but that's my day so far. I'm not excited about sicknesses. <laughs> I just wish I knew, like, exactly what it was. Like, his throat isn't, doesn't look like when you get strep throat. I had strep throat so much as a kid until I had my tonsils out that I know what it looks like and I know, oh my god, it hurts so bad. I remember specifically, like the last time I went to the doctor for strep throat before they told me, told my mom I needed to have my tonsils out so I would stop getting it so often, um, I was like laying there waiting for the doctor to come in. I was like falling asleep on the, you know how they put that roll of paper, the sheet of paper on the table so that they can just pull out a new one for the next person. I was falling asleep on it and then my mom woke me up and she was like, you're drooling everywhere because I couldn't, I couldn't swallow. So I was just like spitting out the drool because it hurt too much to swallow. Uh, it, I vividly remember that. I was like seven years old because I had my tonsils out when I was eight. I think it was like right around my birthday. I had just turned eight and then I had to have my tonsils out. I do remember that. But yeah, not fun. I hope I don't have to go through that with him. He like, Stephen never had his tonsils out. So maybe he'll take after him, but I just don't want to see him get sick a lot like I did as a kid because that was not fun. I was constantly constantly it was always throat issues freaking tonsil stuff and then after I had my tonsils out I rarely got sick so uh, but now I get sick all the time don't know what that's about I say it all the time it's like working in a pharmacy built up my immune system so much and then when I left there it's like <laughs> my immune system is crap now because I'm not used to being around people especially sick people all the time, all day in the winter, like I was before. <sighs> so, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check his temperature again, and I will talk to you guys either later today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, because I'm not doing anything today. <sighs> so they sent Steve, well, yeah, they sent Stephen home because there's, like, no work to do, which normally I'd be upset about, but I'm happy because now I'll be able to go to the store. I'm gonna get vitamin C for us, all kinds of vitamins and friggin' uh, medicine in case we start getting sick. I gotta get Aiden some more medicine. Um, I forgot to order the other day on the vlog when I found the uh, my hair dye on Amazon. I was gonna order it after that and then I forgot. <laughs> I like clicked out of it and didn't order it so I will check if Walmart has it. <clears throat> if not then I'll come home and order it so that I can have that at least for my hair. I need to go to Sally's desperately, but it's like in the total opposite direction of where Walmart is, and I don't want to... Actually, it's not that... F I can probably do both. I just want to... I don't want to be gone for a long time. I don't like it when Eden's sick. I get paranoid. I was gonna put the Roku back in his room for him because he didn't seem like he wanted to get out of bed this morning. So I took it out of the living room. We have one down here and we have one upstairs. It used to be in Aiden's room because he never wanted to uh, watch TV in the living room until Steven's grandma wasn't here anymore because like she'd put cartoons on for him but he couldn't use the, he didn't uh, control the controller and he didn't like what she put on so. Um, it was in his room for the longest time and now it's been in the living room but I took it out of the living room to go put it in his room and then he's like no living room <laughs> so then he finally got up and he went on the couch um, <clears throat> he just feels like crap I hate when he feels like crap because it's so not like him to be lounging around on the couch. He's not, he's always full of energy. So I started recording again when I was getting ready to go out. I did my makeup. Steven got sent home early because there was no work to do and normally I would be like, oh, that sucks, but I needed to go to the store anyway because I got, I just came back from Walmart and I got 
uh, vitamin C and like flu, cold and flu medicine for us in case we start getting sick. Um, some more medicine for Aiden. I got, I brought, <coughs> I stopped at Burger King on the way home and got Burger King for lunch and I was, was all excited that he would eat a kid's meal but he didn't want it he chugged the juice um and then I tried to give him some medicine and he like projectile vomited all over me and the couch <laughs> so I put him in the tub he's feeling a little better now maybe he just had an upset stomach all morning but he's feeling better he's back on the couch luckily that couch is not cloth it's just that fake leather material so I like Clorox wiped it and lysol it and I'm going around the house spraying Lysol constantly. I just I'm hoping that we don't get it. So um <clears throat> that's what my morning has been like. It's uh one o'clock now, twelve fifty six. I'm just now getting started on work, so um Enan is probably gonna be out of school the next few days at least because I'm not sending him to school like that. He doesn't have a fever anymore though, luckily. When he went in the tub, I was, I kept checking him and he, after he puked, the fever went away. So let's hope it stays away and he wakes up feeling better tomorrow because this sucks. I'm actually going to email his teacher right now and let her know that he's probably not going to be in for a few more days because she usually, <clears throat> if he misses like two days of school, she'll email me and check on him and see how he's doing. But, um, I will get to her before she gets to me. I actually, I just got the mail, and my friend Jen sent me a package, and she wanted me to open it on, uh, in one of the vlogs, so I'm gonna do that right now. I don't want to cut it just in case I cut something, but I'll do the top here. <laughs> if I can get it without cutting anything. <clears throat> I just, the, uh, the mailers that I got the other day, uh, they finally came in and I ordered the wrong size. They're too small. So now I have like a hundred mailers that are like an inch by an inch too small and don't fit what I usually put in them. But I'll figure it out, I guess. Um, okay, so there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. <laughs> she got little, oh, these are super cute Ninja Turtle stockings. I have one of each of them. This one says, guess what I have for you? How's this for a shocking stocking? Here's to you, dude. Michelangelo was always my favorite. <laughs> and then, have a red Christmas. Those are super cute. I just put all the Christmas stuff away too. I'm gonna have to go dig the box out so I can put that in there and we can use them next year. And then she sent me a little baggy. Look at those super cute little spiders. And there's like lip balms in here. So there's two soft lips. I haven't used soft lips in forever. I used to use this constantly. Um, there's a watermelon. And a vanilla. This was the one I always used to buy. I used to have this in my smock all the time when I worked at Rite Aid. Because my lips always got dry there. And then a lavender one from... Uh, Young Living. I've never heard of that brand, but that is Lavender Lip Balm. And then there is a little Macaron. Uh, it's Skin Mini Macaron Lip Balm in Pineapple. So this is like one of those, um, what do you call it? The ones you stick your finger in. <laughs> and then, let's see, we have some waxes. This is... Um, Sensational's Laundry Basket, so it's a blue one, it smells like laundry soap, <laughs> nice and clean, like fresh laundry. Um, Sensational's a Rainy Day, let's see, she taped them up all good with, what do you call it, washi tape, I'll open it so I can smell it better. Well that one smells good too, that's another like nice clean... It's super clean and like, kind of like a fresh air type scent. It's hard to explain, but you probably know what I mean if you're used to smelling waxes and stuff. <clears throat> this one is Unicorn Cake. 
I think I've smelled this one before. Let me see. Yep, this is like a very sweet kind of like vanilla cake batter type scent. Uh, because you love dogs, I thought of you. Definitely try this wax company. I love the scents. Uh, Woof Wicks. I have heard of them, but I haven't tried them yet. And then a card for Super Tarts, scents based off of movies. Um, I've heard of Super Tarts too because my friend Stephanie was telling me about them. So this Woof Wicks one is called Pistachio and Pomegranate. Oh, that smells good. I love pistachio scents. That one's like fruity, but a little bit nutty. And then popped up is 7-Up Pound Cake and Maraschino Cherries. Ooh, cherry is right up my alley. Yeah, that smells really good. It's got like the fizzy 7-Up and cherries. I might burn, melt this one tonight. That smells really good. Um, and then a little Merry Christmas. It says open on camera. <laughs> I'm opening the whole thing on camera. I told you I would. I don't know why my nose is all stuffy now. I'm like paranoid that I'm gonna get sick. Oh, look so cute. That's a little piggy with a flower in his mouth. I'm gonna, I have a pig card up there too, actually. I'm gonna put this up there with there. Hope you, Stephen and Aiden, have an awesome, blessed Christmas. Enjoy the wax melts and goodies. Your friend Jen. And then she drew a little um, Jack Skellington. So that card's gonna go up with my other piggy card. And then... Oh, look at this ornament! It's a little naked troll. An elf troll on a candy cane. So cute. You know what? I want to go to Target because um, the other day my friend tagged me someone had posted that they have like trolls that look like the original treasure trolls like not the trolls movie that came out but like the the ones we had when we were kids um target has a bunch of them and like i don't want to spend money on that right now but i'm gonna go buy one because i need one um candles by victoria sunday morning let me see i have used candles by victoria before I, they're really strong scented waxes i love their wax and candles. If I can get this out of here. This one's like stuck. Hold on. Sunday morning. What do you smell like? Oh, this smells like pancakes. Like pancake and uh, syrup. <laughs> and then toasted marshmallow cupcake. Also candles by Victoria. I can't remember if I've smelled this one before. It sounds familiar. Oh yeah, that smells really good. It's very marshmallowy, like marshmallow fluff type scent. And then it's like kind of cake, vanilla cakey too. I don't know why my nose is getting stuffy. <laughs> Something's making me like want to sneeze. Oh, here's another. Is this like an ornament too? A Buzz Lightyear. This is like Reminding me of childhood here, the Ninja Turtles and Buzz Lightyear and everything. Um, and then Better Homes and Gardens Exotic Paradise Punch. That sounds like something I will definitely like too. Let's see. Come on, I can't really smell it. <clears throat> all I can smell is like cake batter and stuff because I have all these scents in front of me. Why can't I, I can't smell anything? <laughs> I think I've messed up my nose. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, that one. It kind of smells like pineapple, like a tropical punch type scent. That one smells good too. So I think that is everything. Thank you, Jen. I am so excited about the little troll. I kind of, I think I'm going to hang it on my pin board actually instead of going to tuck it away in the... In the Christmas box. I'll put it up here for now because it's so cute. I kind of, I have been thinking lately about taking out my troll collection and getting a shelf for in here. Well like 
I kind of don't want to do it now because we're gonna have to move and maybe I'll just do it in the new place but I want like my trolls to be behind me in my videos so I might do that eventually but just ideas for the future oh is this my camera that's like so filthy like this <laughs> Hold on. I don't know okay it must have been something on there it was all like blurred um today is Tuesday just wanted to update Aiden is still not feeling great but he's like up at least like sitting up and not laying on the couch today um, I got him to eat some french fries that's the first time he's eaten anything since Saturday he's been drinking though so I wasn't too worried um, because he's been drinking plenty of juice and stuff so he's not like getting dehydrated or anything like that he had like explosive diarrhea this morning so maybe that's like the last of it coming out of him I hope I just, I'm probably I'm gonna keep him home again tomorrow and like hopefully that's the last of it because if they miss five days of school which Thursday w will be the fifth day if I have to keep him home Thursday if they miss five days they have to go to the doctor and have a note to come back uh, saying they can come back to school so I really <laughs> I was trying to avoid going to the doctor um, but, like, if he's not good, well enough to go to school, I can't send him. Um, the fever is finally gone, like, for good. It was gone last night, it wasn't there this morning, so I'm hoping that that's that. Um, so speaking of medical insurance, I took care of that for us yesterday. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned ours had been, um canceled because we were so behind on payments and stuff actually it was only uh it was only one missed payment and they canceled it because uh, i guess they don't mess around with that but i had to pay it all off re-enroll us for this year and i added dental insurance this time so i'm super excited about that never thought i'd be so excited about having to pay a bill but um adding the dental insurance on now it was a, a lot more they must have changed something in the plan I look so shiny right now but they must have changed something because for me and Steven it's only gonna be twenty five eighty eight a month for dental insurance and it's the uh, the Delta Dental which is what we had before through his work when I had to have that tooth pulled last year around Christmas time that's what I had was Delta Dental and they only charged me a hundred bucks to pull that tooth so um, <clears throat> once it all kicks, I think it kicks in like the 23rd of January, then we can finally both make dentist appointments and get like everything taken care of. Cause I, I've mentioned I have a cavity on that tooth that was near the one that they pulled that I couldn't see because it was like in between the teeth and that's just getting worse. I have a cavity, uh, like a filling that fell out. It broke. It didn't completely fall out it broke <laughs> and now I'm worried about that cavity like getting deeper into my tooth there's so much shit I need done to my teeth Ugh. and like insurance doesn't cover it all so I can't get it all done at once but Steven needs a whole bunch done too because like his front tooth chipped and it's got a cavity in it and I was like you need to get that fixed first because you're gonna end up having to have your front tooth pulled and you're not gonna be too happy walking around toothless um, but yeah I'm just excited that that's taken care of because I was especially with Aiden getting sick I'm like if we all get sick and we have to go to the doctor and we have no friggin insurance what are we gonna do when we need like a friggin antibiotic or something and then they charge you like three hundred dollars for that because you have no insurance um, but yeah, um, that was a big relief to get that taken care of. I need to get some work done now because I just got my supply order in for like my, the micas that I were, was out of <coughs> and I needed them so that I could fill some orders and now I have to go make that stuff. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So it is, I think it's like 830 just looked at the clock and I already can't remember what time it said. Uh, it is Wednesday morning. Eden started not feeling good again last night. Like yesterday afternoon actually. His hair I swear. Um, so I made a doctor's appointment for today at 11. 
really don't want to go there and pick up any more germs, but it, it's got to be done because if he's, <laughs> I called the school this morning and said he's going to be out the rest of the week, so he definitely needs a doctor's note to be able to go back to school. So I at least have to get that. He just woke up and he's kind of, um, he's like sitting up and everything and got a juice out of the fridge. So let's hope he feels better today, but this is sucks because I don't know what it is it's like the flu but like I don't know none of us got flu shots so that's not not a good thing <laughs> but uh I don't know I might ask them to give me one today Steven usually always gets it at work but this job didn't offer them so he hasn't gotten one yet either I think I'm gonna make him go get one this weekend either at like Walmart or I don't know, but now what sucks is that if they give me an antibiotic for him, they closed our Rite Aid and I haven't made, I haven't set up anything anywhere else, so I'm going to have them send it to CVS and just be like, hey, I've never been here before. Yeah, see, he's got like a wet cough too, it's just, everything's... Everything's getting him at once. He had diarrhea. He threw up. <laughs> he had a fever. I have to go te check his temperature again because he was getting warm again last night. I have one of those behind the ear thermometers. And I'm starting to think it's not the most accurate thing because I've had it for a while and it's like every time I put it behind his ear, it's a different number. I need to just get like a normal under the tongue one, which I thought we had, but I think I might have accidentally threw it out when I was cleaning out that the bathroom medicine cabinet upstairs. <sighs> oh, why is this so oily? I'm just like, I'm trying to slap makeup on because I don't want to be completely naked face. And I don't have to be there until 11. I wish I wanted it earlier, but like, I guess everybody's sick right now, so I'm gonna take what I can get. Uh. When I went to Walmart the other day, they had one, one of my hair dyes, so I'll be able to do my roots, I guess. Um, and I ordered some, because I haven't been able to get to Sally's, I ordered some bleach and developer, so at some point I'll do the underside of my hair and lighten it as much as I can so that I can do some colors in it. It might take a couple a couple sessions of bleaching so I'll have like blonde underneath for a while um, because this is black hair dye like everybody knows that takes forever to try and lighten it. But I've done it before. I'm just saying <laughs> I've done it before. I know I'm not gonna do a video about dyeing my hair or anything because anytime I do that I get a million comments telling me what I did wrong, what I shouldn't be doing. Like, I know my hair. I've been doing my own hair since, like, 16 years old. So I know what it can and can't handle and what is and isn't going to make it break off. And I just do what works for me. Everybody's hair is different. I have, like, haggard, friggin' coarse, super curly, thick hair that can take, like, every time I straighten it, I have to use it on 455 degrees <laughs> or it won't straighten. It's just, it can take a beating, so it's really soft right now, and I know it's going to get all dried out when I bleach it, but it always, like, comes back to its softness pretty easily after I bleach it, so I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing that soon. Not sure when. Stuff is supposed to come next week, so maybe next weekend I'll do it. I just want want to get today over with, and hopefully they'll give Aiden something to make him feel better. Like, I tried to give him, uh, like I mentioned, when he threw up, I was trying to give him more Tylenol. And then I did it later again that night, and he threw it up again. <sighs> so... And I know I got the grape, which is like the only kind he likes, so it couldn't have been the flavor that was making him throw up. It was just, 
He did not feel good. <laughs> So I'm going to get him dressed in a little bit and then we'll be off to the doctor and I'll let you, I'll check back in and let you guys know what they said. So uh, I don't know how he's been so sick if he just has a virus. She didn't give him any medication or anything. He doesn't have strep. I tested him for that, which thank God he didn't, he didn't freak out too much. Um, you want to go to Target? I gotta get gas before we go anywhere else. He's acting a lot better now, so I gotta know anyway. Um, because I told the school already that he wasn't gonna be in the rest of the week. So you got like two weeks of vacation because you only went back to school that one day. <sighs> See how much shorter my hair looks when it's curly? <laughs> I dyed the roots. Uh, not yesterday, but the day before. I didn't film anything yesterday. Um, today is Friday, so I'm going to end this today. Oh my god, my hair looks terrible. <laughs> my bleach came yesterday. I ordered, like, um, oh, what is the call? It's called Schwarzkopf Professional or something like that. It's one I've been wanting to try for a while because it's supposed to lighten up to nine levels <laughs> and there's only what like 11, 11 levels of hair color something like that so let's hope that that does something because I'm probably gonna have to bleach it more than once because I'm gonna do like chunks on the underside but my hair is black <laughs> like box dye black so I have lightened it from black before but it takes a while so we'll see how good that one works because I usually always use that uh what's it called it's the big I always get the big tub it's like a white tub with blue on it it's L'Oreal they have it at Sally's quick blue that's what it's called <laughs> that's the bleach that I usually always use but I wanted to try something different this time so I get the bleach and the developer from the same brand and we'll see how that works because it has really good reviews so and then when I did my roots the other night I made sure to only get it in the roots and not on the ends because I don't want it don't want to make it any more difficult than it has to be to try and lighten my hair I'm gonna start by just doing like a few chunks and see how it comes out and then if I like it I'll probably eventually just do the whole underside but it's gonna be an experiment because I'm trying all new stuff <laughs> I've never tried this bleach and developer before and I've never tried the bedhead dye before so I'm I don't know what to expect from that um, hopefully it comes out nice and bright I do have some other hair dyes that like are just in my box in the bathroom. Um, I have a few Arctic Fox ones. I think I've done a review on them. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the Arctic Fox dye. It just, it does not last in my hair. For the way everybody hypes it up, it's not, not that great to me anyway. Like my experience with it has not been. Oh wow, this is awesome. I do, there's other kinds I wanted to try too, but I've had black hair for so long I didn't get a chance to try any of them. Like, I wanted to do the, uh... Oh, what is the name of the hair dye that Haley Williams came out with? The girl from Paramore. I can't remember what her hair dye brand was called, but I wanted to try that too. I never got any of those. Maybe I can get back into doing like hair dye reviews, although I really hate doing hair videos because, like I said before, you always get comments from all the experts saying what you're doing wrong and everything, even though I will put a disclaimer in it saying I am not a professional, I've just been doing my hair since I was like 15, 16 and know how my hair works and what my hair can and can't handle. Like I don't want to tell anybody how I do my hair and then... You have thin hair and you try to do the same thing as me and your hair falls out and you blame me for it. Like, I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> I'm getting ready now because I have to go to do some grocery shopping. Aiden is, like, almost 100% better. 
Yesterday he was bouncing around like normal, but he just had a cough. And now I haven't heard him cough at all so far, so fingers crossed. Um, he was supposed to have his ABA therapy yesterday and I didn't have her come. I don't want to get her sick and like it will just be this cycle of passing it around to people. But yeah, he just relaxed yesterday and <clears throat> we had a good day. Colourpop released a new palette yesterday and it was one of the little the nine pans like this so I ended up getting it. it was, it's called mint to be I think. It's a mint green one. Now they're going through and doing like friggin pastel colors I guess. I have every single one of these little the nine pan ones so I didn't want to not get that one. And it's mint green and I really like mint green. I haven't filmed my yearly favorites or like favorites of 2019 video yet because I was gonna do it uh, the day I took Aiden to the doctor and then I just got caught up with other stuff. I want to do that later today I think so um, hopefully I can sit down and do that. I made a list of everything I want to include in the video so I'm hopefully gonna do that later today. <clears throat> My nose is all stuffy. I will talk to you guys uh, next week. <laughs> There's really nothing else that I'm doing today that's going to warrant filming anything, but see you next week.